Hey guys, it's Tony, Tony King, right here from the Comedy Barn, and this is Gizmo, everybody. Everybody say hi, Gizmo. <laughs> now, Gizmo has been rescued from a local animal shelter, and he is one of our performers here at the Comedy Barn. Now, a big misconception that uh, people think that cats are not trainable. Well, we're about to prove you wrong here in a little bit, because we have cats that perform here at the Comedy Barn, and I'm gonna show you a few basic tricks that you can try with your cat at home. Now, we highly encourage that if you want a pet, any kind of pet or even a cat, make sure you run down to your local animal shelter or your humane society and pick up one of these beautiful animals. But stay tuned, you're about to see. Hey guys, it's Tony with your first video and this is Agatha everybody. Agatha's my pet. Now make sure you love your pets because the first rule of training is that you have to show them a good time and love your pets, pet them, let them know that the environment is safe and of course you want to explore natural abilities. Now uh, a lot of people, you know, they want to call their cat. Like the, One of the biggest questions I get is how do you get all your cats to do that? We can't even get our cats to come to us. So I think the basic thing is, is, is the reward. You know, the reward can be pet uh, it could be a, a, a feather if they like to play with that or a treat. In Agatha's case, she likes all of the above, but we'll, we'll go with the treat. So let's say you want to call your cat, right? And her name's Agatha. So Agatha, come on over here. Let's say this is your couch. Come on and give her a treat. Make a big deal out of it. It's just that simple like that. Now you can start in small steps, go a little bit shorter. And after, of course, you can go further away. Same thing. Let's say she's on the floor and you're at the kitchen table and you want them on the kitchen table, for instance, and you say, hey, come on up here and have lunch with us. Agatha, come on, there it is. And you have a treat and they'll love you for that. Let's try the feather, just in case maybe some cats like to play with things. Hey, hey, look at this, look what I, oh, there you go. Here, play with that. No, she wants the treat. Here's another treat, a whole plethora of them. Try that from the comfort of your home. It's a lot of fun training animals. Now I'm gonna teach you a really cool trick right now. A lot of people have birds they wanna put on their shoulder, but some people like to have cats. Like I love to have a cat on my shoulder. So all you gotta do is find his favorite treat. In this case, Bubbles' favorite treat is hot dog. We got plenty of those. Go figure, hot dogs, a cat liking a treat that's named after their rivals. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna put him on the shoulder just like that and give him a treat. It's that simple. Now if you want him to walk around your shoulder, cause this is kinda of like two tricks in one, just kinda of guide him, see? guide the treat around and it'll do it three times, four times, and then give him another treat just like that. Make sure you use your favorite treat. Find a treat that your cat really likes. Could be a hot dog, could be something else. It doesn't matter, but their favorite one, put them on your shoulder, feed them in the spot, and then guide him around just like that. That's all you have to do, and you'll be showing a cool tricks to your friends. Thanks, guys. Now one of the things that we like to do here at the Comedy Barn is uh, when, when an animal has a natural ability, we like to explore that, okay? That makes training so much easier and you can try this at the comfort of your home. So if you've got a cat that loves to come up and rub up on your legs, well, it's a great thing to try to make a trick out of that. So all you have to do as he comes up and rubs up on your leg like this, just let him do it and then put your other leg up and give him a treat. It's that simple. Go ahead, bring it around like that. There you go. And then one more time. And then sooner or later, you can get him to do it a few times while giving him a treat. It's that easy. There you go, buddy. Thank you. He loves hot dogs too. Come here, come here. And if you want to get him to jump up, same thing. Just, get, just show him a treat and he'll jump right up just like that. Remember, they always follow the treats. They love treats, especially if it's their favorite one. 